Iconography is a long word and it sounds complicated, but really all it means is the way we interpret and describe particular signs that identify a particular genre. In, me in regards to media, these signs or icons are known as polysemic simply because they suggest to the audience many different meanings depending on how they are interpreted. For example, shows such as Wrestling and Smackdown, they can be interpreted very differently due to the audience having different opinions. For somebody who's grown up with the thoughts and mindset that violence is wrong and should not be okay anywhere, they will find it very maybe unsettling or they'll simply just completely refuse to watch it. But for somebody who thinks that violence is right and that it's really fun thing to do, they'll find shows such as Raw and Smackdown very enjoyable to watch. Although these, in iconography, the polysemic signs are there, on film covers they have to show the genre in order to get their audience to buy their film. For example, horror films such as the Amityville Horror, they, the film covers will typically show dark colours with bright red fonts or writing for their title. In this particular film, uh, it's showing an old house and because of the very dark colour scheme it's appearing creepy or scary which will immediately communicate to the audience that this is a horror. Another point that will show it as a horror is I don't know how well you can see it but in the corner to the left of the title is the words catch em and kill em which is a very horror type thing to have happen in a film to have one person going around killing everybody else and that one person I think because I've never seen this film is the man holding the weapon which looks like a gun because of the way he's standing and the way he seems to be lumbering towards the house it makes me think that he is the main villain now this film is a psychological horror and when compared to another horror movie such as Scary Movie 4 it seems very much more scary simply because on this particular film cover they've got very brighter colours due to the light in the back and they're showing very common villains such as the Joker and the Grudge but they've been interpreted into a comedic fashion due to this being a comedy horror although you'll know it's a horror not just because it says scary movie but because it also has the red bright red colour on the title which always suggests a horror. Now, St. Trinian's, the iconography on this film cover is the school uniforms because that shows it as a high school theme because you, for example, you wouldn't see school uniforms on a comedy about the workplace. Simply because it was a workplace such as an office building you won't see school uniforms so that's how this is a high school theme now I've seen this film and I know it's a boarding school but I also know it's aimed at girls not because of the content but because of the pink background that this film cover has you wouldn't see a pink background on films aimed at boys at all uh, this is also a comedy and if you can see this through 12 year old CIA like guards at the front and the various types of people working together such as emos, you've got geeks you've got and you've got the main head girl at the front leading everybody in Mamma Mia there doesn't seem to be any iconic symbols 
apart from at the fact that everybody is dancing on the front, which is suggesting sh very strongly a musical film, and the fact it's called Mamma Mia, which is a well-known song name due to uh, ABBA. The bright colours and the comedic poses, especially as you go towards the left of the people, makes it very happy and it makes it slightly comedic as well which is again with the iconography of if you see something funny on the film cover then you'll interpret it as maybe something with slight com comedy and lastly meet the fuckers I've never seen this film personally but due to the film cover um, and the man in the centre being the main person due to his different face, facial features and the fact he's not touching anybody as if he kind of doesn't belong there. I know this is a comedy due to the slogan and you thought your parents were embarrassing which funny slogans appear a lot on comedy comedic film covers simply because sometimes the comedy features aren't or can't be expressed properly due to maybe they wanted a simple design such as this one or simply because there's too much of a storyline to it but the funny slogans will put across the the comedy features which is again with the iconography so as a recap iconography is simply the way that a certain person or target audience will interpret and describe particular signs in regards to a particular genre something to leave with is that because of iconography if you see a film or if you see a TV program then all they're so showing are signs, not the real thing, due to the, like, the polysemic signs or the iconography being interpreted differently. Last example would be uh, if you saw a show and it had smoking and drug taking on it, a little bit like Breaking Bad with the drugs. Some people, if they don't mind that kind of thing, or if they like that kind of dangerous spark to life then they will enjoy it but if for somebody who has been promoted against drugs constantly all their life they will not like it simply because the fact that he's making drugs has been interpreted differently to the two different audiences